I think I'm in trouble. Can I negotiate with the IRS myself? Why on earth would you want to take on the IRS by yourself? I can't afford an attorney. You can't afford mistakes, and with the power of the IRS, you risk losing everything including your freedom, if you make a mistake. I could settle my debts with them, especially if I explain my situation. They can take your bank accounts, your cars and your house. You can go to jail if they think you've committed fraud, and they don't have to settle with anyone. A girl on the phone said we could enter a settlement plan. That settlement is a series of payments to pay off the debt along with the criminal interest they get to charge. And they never have to take your offer of compromise, but they can clear out your bank account for non-payment. This could leave me bankrupt. You can't get rid of tax debt in bankruptcy. It hangs around and haunts you like alimony and child support. At least children grow up and move out, and ex-spouses may remarry. Taxes and death are forever. You need a good attorney. I know a good attorney. He helped me during my divorce. You need an attorney who knows tax law and the IRS process, an enrolled agent. A CPA has to defer to the IRS, and other attorneys can only argue with the 9000 gorilla in the room. So I need to find an enrolled agent. What else do I need to know? File your taxes, even if you can't pay. Don't make promises you can't keep, because the IRS is known as the American KGB because they can make you pay. Sounds like the IRS should be in charge of Guantanamo. They certainly torture Americans enough. If the IRS is sending you notices, get legal help now and go to them with a settlement before they take you to the cleaners. What if I can't afford an attorney? They'll set up a payment plan much nicer than the IRS plan. And stop watching the late night commercials on how to fight the IRS yourself. Because it was businesses touted in those ads that got you in trouble in the first place.